everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with our second two-in-one review of WWE Elite Series 88. And today, we're taking a look at the Tribal Chief, the head of the table, Roman Reigns and Rey Mysterio. Great looking figures right here, man. This Roman Reigns is a re-release of the Top Picks 2022 pr figure, pretty much, except it includes a Universal Championship. And then this Rey Mysterio over here looks really good. I'm really excited for it. We're going to crack it open, do some comparisons, do all the different things there. But I'm really liking what I'm seeing. I know how good this Roman is, but we are going to go through it just for you guys, and the Ray looks great as well, but let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging, man. On the side, you do get an image of both the talents right there. On the back, we do get our little bio reads. If you guys would like to read it, you can pause it right now. Rest of the figures in the wave, we did review MVP and Riddle yesterday, guys. I just noticed it doesn't say Matt Riddle, and I forgot that they removed that, so that's that's pretty god-awful. God, that's stupid. It's Matt Riddle to me, damn it. Anyways, on the side of the packaging, you get the same image as we've discussed before, and that pretty much wraps up our packaging, man. Can't wait for Elite Series 89 with the new packaging because I think it's going to look way better than this. But with that being said, guys, let's crack these guys out. And actually, actually, before we do that, guys, if you would like to grab this wave or the figures you see in front of you, go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. When you shop over there to save some money, I think Elite Series 90 is also up for pre-order, which is a pretty good wave as well. So you guys want to definitely get in on that. Do not miss out on that. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's crack the tribe. Tribal Chief and Rey Mysterio out of their packaging. All right, guys, so here's Roman Reigns and Rey Mysterio out of their packaging. Liking what I'm seeing so far, a couple problems here and there, of course. This Roman Reigns is a pretty much re-release of the Top Picks 2022 figure that we did take a look at, like, I think, what was it, like a week and a half ago or something like that. So definitely go check that review out if you missed it. However, guys, we are going to run through the Roman Reigns really quick. So we'll cover his accessories and Roman Reigns real quick, and then we will take a closer look at Rey Mysterio's and yes, uh, accessories and the Rey Mysterio as well. So that being said, guys, let's dive into the Tribal Chiefs accessories. All right, guys, so getting into Roman Reigns accessories, not a ton here, but we do get some quality things, which I will always appreciate. First up, we do have the Blue Universal Championship or the Universal Championship. Roman Reigns has held this thing over a year, man, so it's pretty cool to see him still on TV with it. So this Elite 88 figure and the Top Picks figure should fly off shelves. I know the Top Picks figure did not come with the Universal Championship, but this Elite 88 Roman, if it gets to retail while he's still champion, they're going to fly off, man. They're going to be absolutely flying off of the Blue Universal title does look good there. We also have interchangeable hands. You get the fisted hands, and then you do get the choke slammy hands. You got the gold gauntlet. I really love the gold paint that they use for his gold gauntlet because it is shiny like that. So you guys will see here. Just looks sick. So he's got the choke slammy hand, and uh, God, what a beautiful looking gauntlet. Now that I have two gold gauntlets, man, we're going to make that gold gauntlet fix up Roman for no reason that people told me I couldn't make. Ridiculous. Anyways, we also have the head of the table t-shirt, and it's not sleeveless, but the sleeves seem to be sleeved up in the sleeve. So the sleeves were tucked up in there. But anyways, you guys can see here, it does say head of the table. Pretty sure this is the exact same shirt that came with the Top Picks 2022 figure. Yes, it is. It's the exact same shirt. Again, I really want to see the white Acknowledge Me t-shirt. That's the one that I really want to see with the, you know, a new Roman whenever we get that. It may be a minute, but you know, they like to pump the Romans out, so you never know. But head of the table shirt, interchangeable fisted and choke slammy hands. And we have the beautiful Blue Universal Championship. But that wraps up Roman Reigns accessories, man. Let's get into Roman Reigns himself. So getting into the Tribal Chief, man, starting out with the head sculpt. We've seen this head sculpt multiple times. It looks great. It's a really good head sculpt. If you guys didn't know, every head is interchangeable now, or it's at least removable without heat, which is a beautiful looking specimen. You love to see that. That that makes the world go round there. Same torso that we've seen on Roman a hundred times. He does have the double jointed arms, which are just glorious. That'll never get old. Never stop doing that. He does have his updated back tattoo right here. Gold gauntlet, which again, that gold paint looks insane, man. Really like the way that came out. He's got his black gauntlet on this side these are removable if you pop the hands out and then from the waist down it's the same shield legs and crotch that we have seen a hundred times he is on ball joints you know all those good things but the roman reigns figure is a re-release of the top picks you'll probably hear me say it a hundred times it's a really great looking figure i just hate that it's exactly the same i wish we would at least got a new head sculpt out of it or you know like uh, I, I don't know something cool like that but that pretty much wraps up roman man not a ton to cover but uh that is roman reigns elite series 88 so for your roman reigns figure comparisons guys we're going to compare the elite 88 to the top picks and the top picks is right here and the elite 88 is over here and they are identical head sculpt torso arms gauntlets 
all the good stuff. Pretty much the same. I will say, I think my paint apps are maybe a little bit better on, I don't know, they're the exact same. Actually, the paint apps are actually better on the on the top picks over here. This one has like some stuff on the ribs and also like a little blotch on the forehead. So that's that's one thing. But again, man, same figure, same exact figure. These things are gonna fly off shelves. Like I, I, I absolutely think they will fly off shelves. You can do with that info what you will there, but these figures are identical and uh, they are top picks. Again, they both have the shoulder gap a little bit, which I don't like for the tattoo, but that is it for your Roman Reigns figure comparisons. So for Rey Mysterio's accessories, guys, not a ton coming on here. You do get the interchangeable hands that, you know, they love to give us. This has been kind of the trend for the Rey Mysterio figures, like the grabby hands from the SmackDown or the Friday Night SmackDown entrance. I say it every time because that's just what it reminds me of where he reaches out to the camera. So you have these black gloves here. Same thing as the MVP that we saw yesterday, but outside of that, he does come with fisted hands. And again, they're the same size as the MVPs. So we'll get into that. But also, guys, he does come with a rubber shirt. They always do this to Ray. He always comes with like the cutoff Ryback style t shirt. It says Booyaka 619, red and blue on there with the black and white graphics. We've seen this a million times just uh, on this version. You do get the new updated Ray Mysterio graphic. And that pretty much wraps up his accessories, man. Not a ton going on there, but uh, it is what it is, man. That is it for Ray Mysterio's accessories. So let's dive into Mysterio himself. So getting into Ray Mysterio, man, I love this head sculpt. I think it looks a lot like Ray. I really like the mask sculpt. The likeness is totally there. I like the goatee. Uh, he does have the eye patch. This is shortly after Seth Rollins gouged his eyes out or whatever that was. You guys know with the, the horrors match or the extreme rules match there with the lose your eye match. And it's still a really good looking figure. I love the mask and I like the mohawk and everything. And the likeness, this is probably the best Ray head sculpt they've ever done. So that's something to say. Going down to the torso, you have the blue sling slinglet singlet with the yellow stripes. And one thing I will say, man, is I have a loose ab crunch, which is very, very annoying. Rey Mysterio's never had that problem. This is a new torso. This is a brand new torso, so maybe they had some issues with that. Hopefully, it's not just, you know, uh, hopefully it's just mine and not everybody's has this. You guys can see the spine tattoo there. He does have the sick armbands here with the M there and the R over there. God, that is a really loose torso, but it's still a great figure. It looks fantastic. You get the black gauntlets right here that slide up and down. He doesn't have double jointed arms. The only one in the set, I do believe, that does not have double jointed arms. You have the question mark pattern on the crotch piece. You got the question marks on the back as well. Really great blue pattern. You got the Rey Mysterio logos going down in the nice blue color. You have the red boots, and these boots are always great. I love Rey Mysterio boots, but that pretty much wraps up our Rey Mysterio figure. But one thing I will say, man, is a loose ab crunch, single jointed arms. I still love the figure, though. Like, it looks really good, and you guys know how... What is... My God, man. Like, this, like, top part of the knee won't articulate. It's like it's stuck or something. I don't know if I have to heat that up or somehow, like, I don't I don't know what's going on, but it's going to make my really, oh, God, it's going to make my lower leg really loose, but figure still looks really good, man. It's a great-looking Rey Mysterio figure. It just has a, a bunch of technical problems, but uh, as far as your Rey Mysterio figure comparison, here is the Elite 72, and here is the top picks, or the, the last top picks that we got there with the John Cena, Drew McIntyre, and Roman Reigns wave, and you guys know that this is pretty much a repaint of the Elite 72, so no surprises there, but it is cool to see, like, three totally different gears. Like, you got the black and yellow. You have the white, green, and black. You have the red, white, and blue. You have the red, gold, and red. You have the red, gold, and blue, or the red, yellow, and blue, which looks really cool. Kind of Superman-inspired or something like that, but I don't know. Really great Rey Mysterio. Also, the tattoo actually is printed over the singlet. Just now noticing that. Pretty garbage, but Rey Mysterio figures are usually excellent, but I will say that this one looks great, but it has technical problems, unlike these. Like, these, these are fantastic, so you guys know I love the Rey Mysterio figures. They feel good in the hand. They pose around fantastic, and uh, this one's no different except for the freaking loose abdomen. All right, guys, now it is that time of the review where my wife comes in and tells us her honest thoughts on the Elite 88 Roman Reigns and Rey Mysterio figures. So, babe, what do you think about them? All right, guys, so jumping right into it, I'm going to start with the Roman figure. Um, let's see. I'm going to play around with it a little bit, see how the articulation is, see if these joints move good. I know that there is the double joint in the arms. That's nice. I don't pose these as much as you guys do, but I think that's nice for the times that I do. Get them moving around, get them to hold the belt. Overall, it looks a lot like the Top Talents one that we just had. I would say probably exactly like it, actually. Yeah, it looks exactly like it, yeah, overall. It's, a, it's, it's an exact re-release. Yeah, it looks, I mean, I can't find any difference, actually. I'm gonna pull the Top Talents one over here, and y'all can see side by side, they look, yeah, they look exactly the same, but, uh, I mean, it moves good, it feels good, and, uh, overall, I think it looks like him. I think they've always done a really good job capturing Roman, like, out of all the superstars.
superstars. He's one of the ones that looks the best to me. Um, and then jumping over here to Rey Mysterio. Uh, I know this is a new torso where they did the singlet. Uh, I like this. I actually like this attire of his. I think they, they captured the colors really well. I like that they included the new torso with the singlet. You think his ab crunch is loose? Uh, yeah, actually, that is very loose. Yeah, 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 the ab crunch is very loose. It's actually kind of floppy almost, so yeah. that's not good. But um, this one does not have the double jointed arms. Overall, though, I like the attire. I think they captured it really well. It's bright colored. I mean, overall, I think it looks the most like what he was wearing, especially compared to the old attires. I'm, I'm a fan of the new attire, actually, but... Elite 72, top talents. I mean, besides the attire and the new torso, there's not really a whole lot different with the articulation or anything, but loose up top, that's kind of a disappointment, but... Hate to see it. Overall, I, I think the uh, the Roman one's gonna win this for me. I, I, I'm just maybe biased, just because it's not loose. If, yeah. if, if Rey Mysterio had not been loose, then I actually might have went with that one, but I like them. I think they look great. They feel great. They look good. Go get them. And that does it for the segment where Face Wife comes in and tells us her honest thoughts on these figures. But that pretty much wraps up our 2-in-1 Elite 88 review of Roman Reigns and Rey Mysterio, guys. Overall thoughts, uh, you know, Roman Reigns is the same as the top picks, but it's still really good. So if you guys missed out on the top picks or you can't find it or whatever, man. This is a great addition. Also, it includes the Blue Universal Championship, so that is something to also consider, but the top picks is probably going to be a lot easier to find. You guys know they stock the shelves with those freaking top picks figures, so I don't think you guys should have any issues there. The Rey Mysterio is really good. Hopefully, mine's the only one with the singlet loose torso issue. Hopefully, you guys are not going to be like that, but the figure's great head to toe. One thing I will say, though, is I wish that it didn't have the eye patch, so you know, like, if you want to run that in your fed or something, you're going to have to make up some crazy storyline where hurts his eye or it's just you know part of the gear or something I, I don't really know but I wish they would have given us an option without the eye patch and maybe you know we'll get a battle pack or something where that happens or basics or something to switch the head sculpt but it probably won't be the same mask color so there's all those issues there so I don't know I know it's supposed to fit the time frame and everything but at the same time it would be cool to have an option without the eye patch however at the end of the day man if you guys want like to grab these figures go over to ringside collectibles use promo code MD toys to save yourselves 10% with shopping over there get in on all the great deals AEW WWE, play sets, exclusives, all the great stuff. Go do that. Use code MDTOYS on all of your orders to save 10% and get on all the, all the stuff. But I'm enjoying Elite Series 88 so far, man. We're going to finish up the reviews tomorrow with Kushida and Trish Stratus, as well as ranking the set from worst to best and do all of those different things. But uh, I think that pretty much wraps up this review, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok for more MDT content, WWE figures, AEW figures, and all the different stuff but thank you guys for watching subscribe see all the stuff and the things and don't cross the line like my loosey goosey torso that shouldn't happen you cross the line